G'day everybody, Nick Dingle here again for another Word 2013 tutorial. This time around we're looking at the best feature since you can actually start typing documents in Word called Mail Merge. Alright, what I've done is I've thrown together this document which you can find in the link, okay, and I've tried to keep it fairly generalized. Okay, let's say I've got to send this to five different people. You really don't want to be making up five pages of five different documents, especially if this document is a couple of pages long, because then you would have multiple documents that you've got to send out to multiple people and it takes you a lot of time. You've already written it once, why not utilize one of the best features and get word to fill in the blanks. So basically these hash name, hash amount and hash date I've obviously put in there as placeholders. Okay, but what we're going to do is we're going to set up a mail merge and we're going to fill in those blanks with what's called a, um, a field and then Word will automatically fill in the blanks for us and I'll show you exactly how that works. But first, we're going to turn this into a mail merge document. So let's click on the mailings tab, okay? And you start over here on the left for start mail merge. That's pretty obvious, but I'd like to say it outright. If you really want to, you can do it two different ways. You can select what kind of mail merge you're going to start working on and then start typing in your data. The other thing you can do is follow the step-by-step -step mail merge wizard I actually think the Mail Merge Wizard has too many steps. You can use it if you want to. It's pretty easy to use. It's a wizard for a reason. Okay, But I know what I want to make. I'm making letters, so I'm going to click on Letters. doesn't do much to begin with, but it sets up your document in the background ready to do a Mail Merge. What we're then going to do is we're going to go Select Recipients, and we're going to type in a new list. Now, if you have Outlook Contacts, you can select this option here, which is really simple to do. Okay, I can't show you that today, unfortunately, because I don't have Outlook on my computer. The other one is use an existing list. Let's say you have a Word document with a table of people, or you have an Excel sheet or a database with your contacts in it. You can use those documents or files for your mail merge. But just to keep this simple, we're going to type a new list, and we're going to start pretty simple. Now, right now you've got all of these fields, tons of them. And realistically, you're not going to use all these fields in every single mail merge you ever do. So the first thing I'm going to do is customize the columns. And to be honest, I'm going to delete the majority of them just to get rid of them. So, da -da -da -da. so yes, yes. Whoops, I didn't mean delete last name, but we'll fix it up in a second. Let's delete from here. Delete, yes, 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 delete, yes. Let's re add first name. And last name. So we're going to add in two more though. We've got to add in owing for the amount of money they owe and the date to rectify, let's call it. Okay, so there are our columns in there. So let's start with the title. Let's put in some people. Mr. Bobby Bob, he always comes out. He owes $15.12. The date to rectify, 4th of the 4th, 2016. Okay, the way I just did that is I just typed in all the information and I pressed tab and it's automatically gone down to the next row to start typing in the next entry. You can also click the new entry. If you don't like your entry, you can always click the delete entry. And if you have that many entries, you can use the find function. Okay, but let's... I'm going to stop the video, I'm going to enter in a few people, and I'm going to come back when I've got five. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, so here's all my entries. I've got five of them. They're all set up and ready to go. So what I'm going to do is just click the OK button. Okay. And what that's then done is it's asking me where I want to save these people. So depending on how you want to do this, you can save it in my data sources, or if you have a folder you have to save it in because you're in a business, put it in there. But I suggest strongly that you put this address list alongside your document because they're going to be separate files because you can see it says Microsoft Office address lists. It's actually a database. So let's go back to documents. I'm going to make a new folder. Letter to clients folder. And I'm going to type in clients and press enter. Now you see we get all these extra options across here. We're only going to use a couple of them because we're going to keep it quite simple today. But let's say if we click on edit recipient list, we can actually turn off which ones we don't want to see. Okay, or all of them all together. But obviously I want to keep all five of them for today. We can add an address block which automatically puts in all the address details and you can actually select which ones you want. However, let's just insert a greeting line. Let's go 
Dear Sir and Madam, yep, dear Mr. Gunter. And there's your greeting line. So what you see there, if I click on it, it highlights it gray because that is a field. And it's automatically going to be filled in by Microsoft Word when I finish up this document. Okay. Now, for an example's sake, let's say I click on this. It says, Dear Mr. Gunter. Okay. That's exactly what I want. I can get rid of my placeholder now. This is a field. I can actually choose the arrows to have a look at the other examples for my different people. All right, the next one, the amount. Obviously, we can't use an address block or a greeting line for that. We're going to use a merge field. So I'm going to click on the drop down. I'm going to choose the owing. And you'll see it does that. I'm going to turn off the preview so you can see it says owing. And finally, the date. Just like so. Uh, what are you whinging about, Word? Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, that's actually done. I've inserted all the fields that I want to fill in. Okay, you can preview them here. You can have a look at what it's going to look like for each one. So you'll see each person has their own personalized name, amount, and date up there. Okay, if you are done, if you feel like you've finished up and you're ready to go, what you're going to do is you're going to finish and merge. You're not going to print this off. This is going to be like the base document. In fact, before I do anything, I'm going to click Save. And save as, in fact i want to make sure i put it in the same folder as the database what i'm going to do now though is i'm going to click finish and merge and there's three options here so i can edit individual documents which is probably the one i'm going to do i can print these documents or i can send email messages now i can't send email messages because i haven't got outlook set up if i click on edit individual documents it's actually going to take this base document fill in each client and then finish up so let's do that I'm going to select all records because I don't want just one or a couple of them. This is actually my new one. See how it says letters one at the top? If I scroll down, it's made a page or a document for every single client. It's ready to go. I'll close that. Don't want to save. Or I can just click print and it's automatically going to do that exact thing but print it straight away without going to a separate document. That's pretty much it for today, everybody. That there is a quick introduction and an easy way to get into mail mergers please if you ever have to do multiple documents which are based on a template i would suggest use your mail merge technique because it just makes your life a lot easier i use it probably once every couple of weeks because i have to do multiple things for schools but anyway thank you very much for watching everybody i'll see you in the next video where we're pretty much done for the word series so we're going to start looking at spreadsheets and microsoft excel so thank you very much for watching the word series everybody hope to see you in the next series i'll see you then catch you for now